So I just go on to show you guys how we've set up our drift anchor for those people that are interested. Um, set it up before and it was twisting. So now what we've done is we've got a yellow line which goes to the actual back of the anchor and that's got a float on it just to keep the two lines separate so they don't twist. So when Pop pulls it in, if he starts pulling it now, what it does is actually bring the back end of the drift anchor around. You can see Pop's actually pulling the anchor in backwards. And it's very so, easy. So you see how easy that is. We're not actually trying to pull the full weight of that drift anchor. So it makes it a lot easier. Pull it in backwards. Comes on board like that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And then all he has to do is pull the white rope in, which is actual anchor rope. And we're all done. No struggling, no straining. Right. How good is that, guys? So just showing you guys again, that's the drift anchor. So the front of the anchor is tied to the white rope. And then the yellow rope goes out to a float. And then onto the back of the anchor. So when we pull it in, we use the white rope to... The, the yellow rope to pull it back in so it comes in backwards 